All right, I'm going to just run you through a few reasons why technically the topped on TC001 or the 002 if you're looking at it for an iPhone instead of a USB-C connection is technically a much better product than some of its competition. So I've just gone onto the main topped on website, uh, grabbed a load of the specs and compared it to some of its competitors. So you can have a little look at this closer. I'm not going to run you through every little bit. I'm just going to highlight the headlines for you of why this is better. Um, as you can see here, the TC001, TC002. It's exactly the same device. The uh, only difference that I can see is that one is for iOS and one is for Android. Um, its main competitor in the UK anyway is one of these and this is the newest one the gen 3 um, you if you're looking at thermal imaging cameras you probably would have come across one of these here it's got the price um, they seem quite well known um, and i'm just going to run you through the full specs anyway again you can dive into every last little bit if you want but i'm just going to highlight the most the most important things or what I think are the most important things as a layman who's literally just used one <laughs> for a few days um, I've compared it not only to their standard uh, one gen 3 226 pounds but also I'm going to compare it to their pro grade one so it's a big uh, it's more than double the price it's massive uh, step up so let's see what the difference is and if this topped on TC001 can stand up to the pro grade one here. Here's my little sheet, my little comparison. So the temperature range you can see here, they all do the temperature range of what I would want to be measuring anyway, between minus 20 and 120 degrees. The topped on completely surpasses the other one. So you could use it for ovens and other very high temperature uh, monitoring and measuring no problem at all the weight of the top don it's a little bit lighter whether you'd ever notice that I very much doubt it just a couple of grams dimensions they're almost all three of them almost exactly the same this is where we start getting into the difference the frame rate on the top don is 25 Hertz uh, that gives a nice fluid smooth video when you're not only when you're looking through it through a live monitoring screen but when you're recording whereas these are at 8.7 hertz so significantly more jumpy and laggy compared to the top don the resolution also uh, the top don absolutely blows the competitors out of the water um, this is this is the resolution of not necessarily what the camera itself the camera module is capable of but this is how many pixels are being monitored for their temperature so it, it's monitoring 256 pixels wide and 192 pixels high and all of those pixels in that area are all being monitored and you can see here the standard uh, one gen 3 is 80 by 60 only and even their pro grade one is only 160 by 120 now the spot meter the top down seems to say it only measures three spots but as you'll see when i dive into the app it clearly monitors a lot more than three spots so uh, it seems to be playing itself self down there but in comparison the pro measures three the standard gen one only measures one point at a time and price wise it seems like a no-brainer we've got here the top don tc001 with better specs than the pro and we're looking at half the price so where is the catch someone explain to me why the top don tc001 is not the best thermal imaging camera that you can plug into your smartphone or your tablet and take it around with you professionally as a tradesman or as an enthusiast and go and do your friends and family uh, their homes as well go and help them out i'm going to jump into the app now and i'm going to show you a few things i've learned since uh, i've had the camera let me just run you through a few things that the app can do if i go into thermal imaging first of all you'll see it fires up in the normal mode and you can see my computer screen there, my other monitor. 
and you can see the bar along the side. So it's given me the, let me move my big hand out of the way, it's given me the uh, peak temperature and it's given me the lowest temperature and then it's given me the average as well. So at the moment my hand is getting in the way, there you go. Um, 25 degrees at the highest point, 16. Okay, I showed this in the other uh, other video anyway. But it has here the lock and unlock padlocks. So you can try and lock it in so that it doesn't vary so much. Now look at going across the bottom bar, you've got the camera setting so you can take a still image of an area to study or you can video an area and here it has various settings for video you can also enable the microphone so you can talk over it and um, that is all quite handy being built into the app itself now if I click on here you can see that then we can I we can manually highlight points that we want to be measured and you can see that the app has uh, a maximum of three spots that can be measured um, not including the center so I guess it's four spots really you could also then change it to a line does this one work oh I like that okay interesting oh, well that that's given us more points that we can read okay interesting and it's showing where those lines intersect and all of those temperatures are updating, which is a big step up from some of its competitors because that's some of the complaints that you can only monitor just a, a couple of temperatures. This is showing the cold spot and the hot spot on all of those lines and the overall cold and hot spot for the, the whole image, which is brilliant. Okay, what do we get if we go on to plane here now? Okay, so we can circle a box. Interesting. Full image. Right. If I go on to plane and I just highlight that part. Interesting. It will only measure then inside that box. Okay. And full image. Oh, full image measures both inside the box, but then it also measures the temperatures on the outside. That's great. On here we've got now do you like drag image, pinch to zoom. Okay. Ah, I see. Okay. So now it's showing the camera. It's using my actual phone camera as well as the thermal imaging camera as a kind of overlay. You have to try and match them up. Okay, and how transparent. So we can go full thermal image or we can go full onto my camera. Okay, well that could be really helpful with some uh, applications. We've got some settings for different color scales maybe if you're previously used to one then maybe there's one there that will work well for you but let's stick with the default if we go to settings okay so then we can uh, we can remove the bar on the edge we can adjust the contrast whoa okay so we can get it exactly as we would like it to be Details, okay. Well, the resolution is already pretty good. Okay. What's the alarm for? Oh, okay, for high temperature and low temperature alarms and markers. Interesting. Okay, I'm not sure how the rotation function is supposed to work but um, maybe if you've got a tablet that would be more more helpful all right and then you can put it on normal temperature range minus 20 to 150 degrees that's going to be more than enough for me 
All right. What else can we do here then? Temperature monitoring. Generate image. Dot. Okay. Select an area to monitor. Start recording. Ah, oh, I see. So, for example, we could leave this phone set up on a mount or on a tripod, and we could uh, target a flow temperature on a pipe, or we could set it up on the heat exchanger or the heat pump. We could monitor all sorts of things to see how the temperature fluctuates. And then we go stop history. Ah, excellent. So this will then give us a time and a temperature and you can export that data as well. Okay, that's a good function. And then gallery, I guess that's going to be just for any photos or videos that we take.